In this video, I'm going to show you how you become best buds with Navy Federal Credit Union and get the financing that you want whenever you need it. What's up winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start now by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. So as you probably already know, Navy Federal Credit Union is probably one of the best credit unions out there and there are plenty of good reasons why. Probably the biggest reason on why a lot of people want to get in good with Navy Fed is due to the fact that they tend to give high credit limits on their credit cards. You can get a maximum amount of $80,000 across three credit cards all at once. With this particular credit union, you don't even need to have three credit cards all at one time. But the majority of credit cards that they do offer have a cap of $50,000 except for the flagship which allows you to get the full $80,000. But given the whole economic situation, it's gonna be kinda of difficult to get the high of a credit limit, but with the current data points, they're currently handing out $8,000 limit increases at a time. So it may take you some time to reach that limit depending on your income, credit history, amongst other factors. Another reason to love Navy Federal is that their target audience is military and their family members. I don't know whether or not you support the troops, but I do, so shout outs to all the troops out there who are actively serving or have served. If you guys have been a viewer of my channel, I am a veteran myself and I did serve in the Marine Corps as you can see back there. But either way, you don't even have to be a military member to get access to Navy Federal. If you have any family members that have served in the military, you can use their credentials to get in. Also, you can get in if you're a DOD civilian or you have a roommate that's already a member and you can just piggyback off of their membership. As a side note, there has been many data points showing that they didn't even ask for proof when people signed up. But this can vary throughout the year, so it's best to have proof just in case, but you do you. Another perk on why you should get in with Navy Fed is that they tend to have some of the best rates out there. Whether it's credit card interest rates, loans, or any type of financing that you may need, their interest rates tend to be one of the lowest. Of course, there are gonna be some credit unions out there that do some things better than Navy Federal, but overall, I think they are the most competitive. For instance, I recently got a car loan with them and I got tier one credit. I was able to get an interest rate of 2.29%. Even when I showed up to the dealership, they were even surprised that I was able to get an interest rate that low. Of course, as the economy is fighting inflation right now, interest rates tend to be on the rise, but I'm pretty sure that you're able to lock into a good rate. So before we go over all the things that Navy Federal looks for to provide you with financing with the best rates, I have to thank today's sponsor, Shortform. The reason why you're watching today's video is to learn more about finance and credit and how to use them towards your advantage. But outside of YouTube, sometimes it's best just to pick up a book. But sometimes you don't have enough time to read a whole book. This is where reading summaries and knowing the key points is all you need. Short form, they do this amazingly. So start learning from books when time is tight or you just want a refresher of what you read. By using my link, you receive five days of unlimited access and an additional 20% discounted annual subscription, which will save you around $130. Now let's get back right into the video. Just like credit scores, most financial institutions have their own internal scores. This is just an extra grade that they give you to determine how much credit and interest to actually give you. With Navy Federal, the highest internal score that you can get is 450. This is probably a score that you may not be aware about. Even most customer service reps may not even have no clue of what you're talking about, but this internal score ranks you amongst all of its members. Okay, this is all fine and dandy, but how exactly do you go about finding your internal score since customer service reps have no clue what you're talking about? So probably the easiest way to find out your internal score is whenever you apply for a credit card. This is when you receive a letter in the mail whenever you get approved or denied. This should give you an explanation of your credit score of when they pulled it and it should have an internal score right next to it. So if you receive this letter, just don't throw it away because this is kind of the only way that I know that you can find the score. Unless there's someone else at Navy Fed, possibly in the underwriting or lending department that can tell you, but other than that, I'm not really sure of any other way that you can get it. If anybody else knows how to get internal scores without getting a new credit card, let me know in the comments. Since this is kind of like a mythical number of sorts, there are plenty of data points out there that can show you to get a higher score with Navy Fed. So to start being on the good side with Navy Federal is that you gotta have a direct deposit set up. This kinda just makes sense because any type of financial institution like a bank or credit union, they're gonna be taking that money from you and lending it out to other people so they can make money. So first things first, just make sure that you set up a direct deposit. The next thing that Navy Federal wants to see is by you having a pledge loan. This is just another money maker for them, so this just makes sense. So if you are not familiar what a pledge loan is, this is a type of secure loan that can really fan up your credit profile. Essentially what you're doing is just giving a loan to yourself. Of course, you're gonna be paying a little bit of interest in Navy Fed, but you're essentially manufacturing your credit profile. This is something that I'm looking into, especially if you are looking to get higher lines of credit. So imagine that you're able to put in 10,000, 
$20,000 or even $100,000 into a pledge loan. Once that money hits your account, then you could pay off most of it so only you have a small balance on that loan which reports to all three credit bureaus. This is really a key with Navy Federal. There are other banks and credit unions that do this, but this is something that really makes your life easier if you're trying to get large loans in the future. Let's just say that you're in a financial position to buy an exotic car in the future. If you only had auto loans between twenty dollars to $30,000, it's going to be really difficult to get an auto loan of $150,000. Of course, if you have the cash to pay it outright, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to leverage credit and use that money elsewhere, it is best to get a loan with an interest rate that's low enough. Lenders are more willing to give you money if they've seen that you handle larger loans in the past. Next is by actually having a credit card with Navy Federal. This is probably what most people start off with aside from a checking account. So if you're not aware, you can have a maximum of three credit cards with Navy Federal at any given time. And they can give you a maximum credit limit of $80,000 across all of these. This is just another money maker for this credit union. Of course, they make money from the interchange fees and debt that you keep on a monthly basis. Since we are talking about credit cards, they want to see that you have on-time payments for any type of product that you have with Navy Federal. Either this can be credit cards, loans, or pretty much anything that requires a payment. If you have on-time payments, Navy Fed is gonna be rolling out the red carpet for you. But this is something that you should already make a habit of anyways. As you already know, payment history is kind of one of the biggest things that go into a credit score. So if you could transfer that over to Navy Federal, then you should be in good hands. Next is actually by having a checking account, which you probably already have already if you already set up direct deposit. Now Navy Federal has plenty of options that give you a free checking account, but if you wanna be Navy Federal's best friend, you wanna get their flagship checkings. This one can also be free, but the only thing about that is, is that you would have to have an average daily balance of at least $1,500 or more. If not, it will cost $10 per month. So the only upside with the flagship checking account is that you do earn higher interest compared to most checking accounts out there. Most big banks, they typically give you an average of 0.03%, but Navy Federal, they give you 0.35 to 0.45%. The next thing that goes into your internal score is the length of membership. This is something that time will just have to take its course. So for me, I actually signed up for Navy Fed a long time ago when I was actually in the Marine Corps. But the thing is that I never really took advantage of Navy Fed because I was banking with USAA, which is just another military bank. Even though I did not use them, I do have a history with them since I've had an account open for such a long time. So the next thing is not by having any insufficient funds in any of your checking account. All this means is that you never ever want to have a negative balance in your checkings. This happens when you take out more money than you have inside of it. But on the bright side, there are plenty of protections that Navy Federal offers that prevents this from actually happening. So the most basic one is overdraft savings transfer. Essentially, any type of money that you have inside of your savings account will be withdrawn first at no charge in place of your checkings account. Another protection that they have is a check-in line of credit. This is almost kind of like an emergency loan that you can get around $500, but they do have varying interest rates that can be much cheaper than just getting charged with overdraft fees. The thing about the check-in line of credit is that you can get up to $3,000 for non-active military and up to $5,000 if you are. So for these accounts, they do say that they require a credit approval, but there has been many other data points from other members saying that they did not pull the credit when they were applied for a checking line of credit. And lastly, they do have another option called the Optional Overdraft Protection Service, which is the acronym called OOPS. <laughs> I know, the military loves acronyms. So with this one, they provide you up to $500 in overdraft protection, but they do charge a daily $20 fee until your account is paid off. So this again can actually add up compared to the checking line of credit. Next is pretty much any other additional product that make Navy Federal more money like their savings account. There are plenty of them, such as accounts geared towards emergencies, college funds, and investment accounts. So when it's all said and done, you gotta look at it from both sides. This is a working type of relationship. If you wanna get better interest rates, higher credit limits, and larger funding, there is a cost of doing business. So for individuals who have average to bad credit, this is definitely a credit union that you wanna be on the good side with because they tend to be more lenient with their credit card approvals and credit limits. So if you are in a financial rut where your credit score is not doing so hot, Navy Federal does have a lot of tools to help you get back on your feet. So for me personally, I do check off some of the boxes that Navy Federal want to see when they determine your internal score. So let me know what are your data points down below. If you wanna learn more about Navy Federal and what credit cards to get, come check out these videos over here.